team, presidential coverage. And a big welcome back to you who've been watching these videos. I know it's been a while since I've done one. I got kind of busy uh, working on the other channel, so that's why I haven't done one in a while. So I, uh, lots changed since I did my last video. Hell of a lot more candidates. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at uh, one candidate, and then I'm going to do another video on Rand Paul. And then I'm going to knock out everyone else, and we'll be done with candidates and we can move on to issues. So, like I said, today we're going to look at a candidate, and that candidate is Hillary Clinton. You don't know who Hillary Clinton is? Come on now, it's, it's Hillary Clinton, former first lady, former senator. Former Secretary of State. Still not ringing any bells? Wow. Okay, I'm not going to tell you who she is. If you don't know who she is, you need to get your shit together. Wow, and I thought the last question was stupid and pointless. Did she get the nomination? Hasn't she already gotten it? I don't know if you've seen my other videos when I was talking about the other candidates going for the Democratic uh, nomination. But if you do, you can probably tell it was a little dismissive of their chances. How is the weather in hell right about now? Is it starting to chill? Say, he's not going. Oh no, he's fucked. Who's Martin O'Malley? So why do I think that she's going to get the nomination? Well, I think it goes back to 2008. Uh, during that election, everyone kind of knew that the, the Democrats were going to win in 2008. People were pissed off at Bush and they were going to take it out for Republicans. Any Democrat could have won. Kucinich could have won. That old coot, Gravel, could have won. So the Democrats, they said, you know what, let's jazz it up. Let's try to get something that we haven't seen in the White House at all. So, they, you know, they said, well, why not a female president or a black guy as president? And we all know how that turned out. Right? We all know how that turned out. They went with the black guy. Well, that caused some hurt feelings between the Democrats who wanted to see a woman in the White House. So now they're going to make up for that by having their next nomination in uh, 2016 being a woman. And she's the only woman running for the Democratic nomination. So, yeah, she's going to get the nomination. I think out of all the candidates on either side, she has the best chance of winning the presidency right now. Everyone knows who Hillary Clinton is, and they all have an opinion of her. And, you know, some people might imagine it's this. Other people imagine her as this. Sorry, I meant this. I don't think her image has changed in the last 20 years. I just think that there's kind of this add-on that she's seen as a uh, champion of women's rights, champion for the equal rights of homosexuals, a fighter for the middle class and the poor, you know, a crusader for health care. And this is great to help her. She has built one hell of a fan base on this is why we're seeing her at 60% and the other Democrat nominations are lucky if they can get into double digits at all. She's got the financing for a campaign already on her side. That's another base that she's built up. They said that she's going to be spending, they say that the, the people are going to be willing to spend $1 billion to see her get in the White House. Like I said before, there's a push for a woman president. The only woman on the Democratic side running, the uh, woman on the uh, Republican side running, well, even if Carly Fiorone does get the nomination, her going up against Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton's going to eat her alive. Just <laughs> winning, her winning the nomination, I've given all the reasons that. Can she still lose? Yeah, I think she could still lose. It's just uh, a matter of the Republicans choosing what battles they want to fight her against. If they go up against the uh, recent Supreme Court ruling that legalized uh, marriage for same-sex couples, she's going to eat them alive. Just <laughs> they can't fight that, though. You, um, you go, now, if they were to go up against her against something like the uh, Obama. Case, Republicans are like, hey, we're going to repeal this. We're going to change this. She's
she's of course going to fight for it. it. I think I could see her losing that battle when people, when the, the Republicans start bringing in the cost, then they're going to start attracting those uh, Reagan Democrats, if you will. If um, the Second Amendment and guns is an issue, she'll stick with her fan base. Like we need these regulations, we need to change this, and you'll find out how popular the Second Amendment is with most Americans. I think it's more popular than people want to admit. And that, that's something that you would lose on. So, we'll see how that turns out. I, I for one, think that the best candidate they could put up against her right now would be Rand Paul. And uh, we'll see, we'll talk about him next time.